Hi everyone, I'm Amanda from lifewithaprons.com and today I want to show you how you can have light in a power outage without candles and without kerosene. Stay tuned. All right, so how do we have light in a power outage without candles and without kerosene? I'm going to show you how today. And the reason I found this method is because I really didn't like all the things that are in candles. When you light a candle, chemicals that's been used in the candle to give it a great smell, they're going into the air and you're breathing that in. Not great for our bodies. Now, if you get the really nice 100% beeswax candles that maybe they're scented with essential oils, that's great. However, they can be expensive and trying to light your house with all of those candles in a power outage, it could be pretty pricey. Sometimes in the country, our power's out for about a week, so we would go through those candles rather quickly. Now, let's talk about kerosene. You could light with kerosene using oil lamps. However, I really don't like the idea of kerosene either because the same thing is happening those fumes are getting into the air and you're breathing that in. So what is a good alternative? Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make an olive oil lamp. Yep, you can use olive oil to light your house. And it doesn't have to be an expensive olive oil either because you're just using it for the light. I just buy a cheap off-brand olive oil and it works great. It doesn't go rancid if I leave it in the cupboard for several months in between uses and it lasts a pretty long time, a lot longer than my candles last. Now, a few supplies that you're gonna need in order to make the olive oil lamps is of course, olive oil. Again, I recommend you just get a generic, cheap olive oil for these lamps. The next thing you're gonna need is a wick. Now, I have made my own wicks just using cotton thread and I crocheted it into a wick. Now, if you don't wanna crochet your own wick, I understand that. You can also buy the wicks at the store, you can buy them on Amazon, and I'll put a link in the description for that. The next thing you're gonna need is a container. Now, you can get a variety of containers. The main concern, particularly with olive oil, is that you wanna make sure that the container is short. Your wick doesn't need to go very far above the olive oil in order for it to work properly, it needs to be very close to the oil. I use old teacups and small mason jars like this or like this one here. And they work great as olive oil lamps. Another thing that I like to use is a gravy boat. This one is not too high up and so it works rather well for an olive oil lamp because that wick can really just sit right in the spout here and sit in that olive oil and then it, it lights up really well. If you're not using a gravy boat, the next thing you're gonna need is wire. I use a jewelry wire. It is a 20 gauge wire, 0.8 millimeters. I'll put that in the description as well. And these work great, they're bendable. It's not gonna be a problem if it's being lit all the time and we are gonna use these on the inside of the jar to hold the wicks in place. And that's really all you need to make your own olive oil lamp at home. So let's get started making it. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our wire. You can see here that this one has already been used. I'm just gonna show you guys how to do it with one that I've already done before. Grab a pencil and we are going to wind the wire around the pencil. Four or five times, just like that, four and five. This top piece here is what will hold the wick in place. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your jar, and this is a little bit of a tricky part, but what you wanna do is you want to lay the wire in a circle inside of the jar and we're gonna push it down in like this, and then we're gonna straighten out the place where the wick is going to be. 
It doesn't have to be perfect, as you can see. And then you want to leave enough on the outside here so that you can make a hook like this so that you can lift it out and lift it back in. Now, if you have a teacup like this one here and you're putting the wire in, you can take and just put that right around it to hold it in place. And this is the finished jar. Now again, if you have a gravy boat, it's really easy. You can just take your wick, lay it right down into the gravy boat there, and then fill her up with the olive oil. You're going to let the wick sit in there for a couple of hours because you really want to make sure that it gets nice and coated with the oil so that it will light just like that. Now we are going to put together the rest of these. Putting the wick inside of the metal can be a little challenging. You're going to take your wick and you're just going to feed it through all of these little pieces. I recommend using some tweezers to kind of get it through there and just want to pull all the way through like that. When it gets to the top, you want to just crimp it so that the wick stays in there just like that. And then we're going to lay this down into our jar and then we just fill it with olive oil about, mm, I would say a half inch from the top, about like that. And these will sit and then we will light them later. great way to have light when the power's out without having those harsh chemicals in the air that you're breathing. And like I said before, they last a long time and I just keep refilling with olive oil. You may have to replace the wicks from time to time, but really that's it. You can use the containers that are already in your house. Um, just get some wire and some wicks and some olive oil and then you have light for your house anytime that you need it. If you want more ideas on how to survive power outages, check out my blog post on five ways to survive power outages at www.lifewithaprons.com or if you're feeling really daring, check out a few of my videos on how I bake on a wood stove when the power's out. Thanks for watching. Use a lot of olive oil. My tire. No, hey, mom, it's your tiny to my head. No, mine's has. Mine also.